Welcome back to Pursuit of Accuracy. I'm Josh, and I wanted to do a little bit of an update for you today. So the Voodoo V22 that we were using on the channel, it's gone. It's out of the picture. I'm sending it to a new home. I recently started shooting the CZ again, and it's just drawing me back in really hard. So right now, while I'm filming this video, you guys are voting on a poll to see what the next rifle will be. It's looking like it's either going to be another 457 build or the Tika T1X. So without stringing you along too far, we're going to knock the dust off the old girl. I'm going to shoot it all the way down the lane. We're going to check our dope and make sure this thing is still hammering out a distance. So let's do that now and we'll come right back. All right, so besides the one target, and I'll play that clip right now, I actually aimed at the wrong target. You see, I'm aiming at the small grenade when in fact I should have been aiming at the bigger grenade. I had the dope dialed for 130 yards, which is the bigger grenade behind the smaller one, and that's why it impacted high on that target. Other than that, this thing freaking ran flat out. It hammered. You can see out there at 181, I put two on the plate right next to each other, used that wind hold, and smacked that little tiny egg dead center, which is why I love this rifle. It's just zero fuss, zero issues. It just freaking hammers. With that being said, this is the last time you're gonna see this rifle looking like this. We bead blasted the custom little bolt knob I have on here, so that is bead blasted. And this is going under the knife, so the next time you see it, it'll have a totally new look. And as of right now, this is gonna be my main competition PRS rifle. So if the 457 wins the pole and it becomes a new rifle, we're gonna be doing something pretty cool with that too. That's gonna to be going from bone stock. It's gonna get a pretty crazy barrel, something we haven't used before. It's gonna be a little faster twist. It's gonna be in a chassis system that we haven't used before. And I'm trying to expand my horizons a little bit. I don't like chassis a lot. I prefer the feel of the stock, but the weight is hard to achieve when you're looking at a composite stock like this, even though I love them. So the chassis do offer more versatility as far as getting a really heavy rifle and that's what really drew me to the voodoo above all else is that it was a nice heavy rifle but i think that does it for this video i didn't want to drag this out super long so as always guys thank you very much if you want to support the channel head on over to pursuitofaccuracy.com you can support us via paypal donation or join our patreon where we do a monthly giveaway so if you're not in on that we give away some pretty sweet cz stuff thanks again we'll catch you on the next one <music>